Hey guys, welcome to uh, Mini Cooper and what I'm going to talk about is the water crossover tube that's used between the thermostat housing to the water pump and what I found I was so excited is ECS sells a metal version of the, pl of the plastic tube that comes with it in OEM and actually uh, it's a little over a hundred hundred dollars but um go ahead and do an unboxing I went ahead and bought this even though I actually changed my thermostat assembly and crossover tube about a year ago and I was during the time I was changing I was hoping that I wish they would make this into a metal pipe rather than a plastic so we'll go unbox it and see what we have here this was my old one that I got that I took off the car when I changed my thermostat housing um, you can see it only has one tab up here that holds it onto the uh, engine. Um, taking it off, what they, a lot of people complain is this thing piece breaks. Um, mine broke while I was trying to take it off. And that's what holds the, uh, the clip to the um, thermostat housing assembly. On this end, when I pulled it off, actually the whole ring and the, the little lip around it broke off. So, um, so it's made out of plastic. So let's check out the uh, the new one. I got this on ECS. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. It comes with uh, the metal tube. It has a clip that goes to the thermostat assembly. And look at that. That's pretty nice. So what I want to do is go ahead and um, take some uh, measurements and then tell you uh, what the size is and everything so that way um, if you're all curious on the uh, dimensions of this one so overall we're at about 13 and a half inches just maybe a, a 1 32nd smaller than 13 and a half then I think depending on where you're what kind of engine you're installing it on it would have it could have multiple tabs to hold it on mine only had one which was located on the bottom but then there's other ones so when I actually bought a replacement plastic one I think mine came the replacement one had a tab up here but I ended up cutting that off because I didn't need it so so that's what it looks like let me get out some calipers here. I'm gonna give this stuff into uh, millimeters. So I know this is OEM, the original one. So this one's about 36.5 millimeters. So we got this one about 38.65 millimeters. So, um, so it's a little bit bigger. Then let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and check the uh, thickness of this. Looks like there's a. You got This is a plastic edge liner right here. It seems like they have that actually is used to hold on the lip because this one this one broke off that holds on the old ring. It, there's um, this piece seems to be plastic right here. So if we go ahead and um, let's see what the inside of this side is. So this is 31.28 millimeters, and here we have this one at 31.84 millimeters. Pretty close, same. On this side, let's measure on the metal one. You have 45.95 millimeters. And this one is cracked, but we'll go ahead and measure it anyways.
44.9. Let me measure a second place. 45.3. So it's, it's about the same. Um, I don't think I can measure the thickness of the wall of this. Seems like it's almost like a plastic liner inside this. I can't really tell if it is or not. So, even though I went ahead and changed mine to a new, when I changed my thermostat assembly, um, I was very excited that they came out with this. So I might actually go ahead and do a swap. I don't know. It was a pain in the butt changing it out. But at least uh, if I ever do it again, I want to do it one time because this will last. So that's the crossover tube, the water uh, coolant co crossover tube between the thermostat assembly to the water pump. And it's a metal one uh, sold by ECS Tunings and it's uh, a little over $100. So uh, thanks for watching and good luck on yours.